Hello, everybody. It's a sorcerer game, which it's pretty good. It's since the meta has been fairly balanced recently, a lot of comms are available. There's, of course, there is some cookie cutter ones that are the best ones. But sorcerer, if you can hit eight sorc, sometimes even even six sorc, depending on tempo, you can win with it, and it is like a first. If you throughout this game, after I hit eight sorc, you can see how in one cast you can wipe a whole board. Tankiness is not a problem since all the sorcerers' tanks scale their HP and shield with AP. So mostly focusing on. AP to clear everything up in one shot, it's the way to go. Of course, a little bit of gargoyle, a little bit of defense to give more value to the HP and shields is necessary. Uh, I also go into a Laduck video to figure out if Tarek, uh, how the ter Tarek shield works, how the mechanics of it work. But overall, pretty good game. Another important thing about Sork, you need to have mana items. Almost none of them start with mana, so getting an instant cast, it's basically how you win. But I think the main thing about this game and how I won, it's I hit the portal Placid Library, so you get to choose a free emblem, and I got the best augment for the comp, which is Sorcerer Heart. And hearts are usually way better than the... Uh, emblem themselves because you don't have to put an extra unit in for example if you're playing 9 Ionia or 9 Sharima you need to go 9 if you have heart you don't need to go 9 you can stay 8 and 9 you know being hard to hit makes it very simple to hit uh, the max cap on the trait so yeah enjoy the game I'll see you at the end I solved most of what I'm having problems with. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a mouse as well. That's nice. There you go. There you go. Nice. So that confirms it. You don't need to use, uh, you don't need to hit them with a spell. You just ha it's, it has to be a Sork attack from any kind. Sork damage. Well, I'm probably gonna go 8 Sork here. So that's gonna be great. So we stop at level 8. There's a Sork. Strategies and Sork. Mm. Can I have. I should do some. What? Not 20. Did some fire, man. Sunfire. Why? Why are you so kind of weak? Healing. Healing. Kind of healing. I think it's Sunfire. Yeah. Not a fan of it, but it's the play. I wonder if I have enough here to win my shield. Huge auto? I mean, Orianna 2 is no joke. If you could cast a little faster, maybe. But I think 100 mana for 600 damage and 400 shield is... I think it's fair. Seems fair to me. Will be Actually a decent pickup. Hold this. So, Damasia's on the table. Swords bat probably on Sona. So Belkaz has multicaster. And I get Damasia with Lux. So what's the other Demacia that can go in? That's the question. Jarvan? Jarvan seems pretty good. Mm, component buffet. She 
shield. Big auto. Oh, I lost the cast. It's fine. If Maul's cast, it's a big one. There you go. And... Dude, that... 650 damage in one cast. Okay, I see the value. I, I, I see it, I see it. It's kind of like Jin, but better. There's a Taric with a sword. And it's gone. Not a fan of AP early. I don't have to make a choice. I'll just take the the tier. Casting is important. Probably pull up on Lux. Hey, that's a good one. Definitely double for the win streak. It is questionable though. This front line might be better. Doesn't really do anything for me this early, other than Teemo, and Teemo's not great. Here's what I can do for you. I can put items on Teemo for now and then replace him. Some Sunfire has done a difference though. That has been nice. Ah, oh, she cast it. It's fine, anti shield. Boom! Big auto. It kinda sucks that you it doesn't make it doesn't have a graphic for it. It'd be nice, you know? It's a big auto. A little bit more pleasant, but it's just like a, like, it's just it's a little thing. It's not that big. I can do this. <laughs> Oriana. Winnable. He's cast. Okay, nice. Nice. I'm glad Ariana's pseudo support. Imagine only having AP. I mean, only having damage, no front line. That's what usually they. That's what they usually do against uh, AP AP trades. They give you like one tank, but they fix that mistake. It's usually more now, and it makes sense. Oh, you have AP. You have power. Then I'm not gonna give you tankiness. Challenger suffers kind of from the same ooh, angle. I am not a fan of most of these. Let me say. Give me a Taric. Give me a Taric. No Taric. Probably this, I don't have to... Change my positioning. Mm. Kinda want penetration. I could go shift. Shift is not bad. A shift would not be bad. Fuck it. Give me that pen. Yeah. 
The shift is so good. I don't know, I'm kind of used to the fact that like you have Heimerdinger to pen. You have other units to do it. Silver ticket's okay. Don't care about gold. HP is decent too. Definitely not this. So silver ticket or ancient archives. Ancient archives for another sork. I don't need another sork to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I kind of do need another sork. Bad. It's silver ticket. I may be merciful, but Targon isn't. I'm gonna level up here. I need the extra front line. And six orc. Now, the question I have about Tarek is like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get another sword spat soon. I forgot. Classic library. So does Derek absorb the damage after mitigations? I mean, it should be. I mean, it's not going to be true damage, so I guess. But the, the, the... But imagine this. You have defense. But if Tarek has defense, does he also absorb? Wait, Leduck has a video about this. Leduck. Tarek items. Okay. Do you want armor? There you go. Sorry, it's a bit loud, but let me see. On Tarek or on a unit he's protecting. Let's is see. Death's Defiance a hard counter against Callista? And can Clad Forster proc his passive with Hurricane? Welcome to episode number four. Closer look at a unit that has been causing some problems in the current patch, Tarek. Especially before okay. the hotfix, you would see this unit everywhere and players started to wonder how his ability actually works. The yeah. myth states, when Tarek absorbs damage with his ability, the damage is reduced by his own defensive stats. Yes. So in short, the question is, would you rather have a Bremble Vest on Tarek or a Bremble Vest on the unit next to Tarek? Thankfully, right. the practice mode is finally back on the PvE, so this setup will be a piece of cake. Here we have a Tarek and a Kale against a powerful Jin. We will check out two fights, one with defensive items on Kale and one with defensive items on Terry. Based on the damage. Oh, the big Tarek's hit didn't go through. Can... Dude, the auto, it disappeared. It would have killed Jinx. Oh, man. Okay, let me estimate which defensive stats are relevant to reduce the damage from Jin's ability. In our first fight, we have a Terry that starts close to full. Wait, there's a Lux. I would like that Lux. Lux? Lux or Rod? Ooh, he took the other thing. I am first place. I lost both. Huh. Oh. Here? I'll take the belt. I'll just have it on my front line. Ah, there's a Tarek. That's at library. Sorcerer Spat. Of course, give it to Teemo. Can I play this somehow? You know, Rihanna's pretty good. Do this for now. I'm thinking about moving out. Let's finish this video. And a Kale one star with two Bremble vests. When Jin hits Kale, we can see that Tarek not only loses his entire shield, but based on the damage statistic, also received over 200 leftover damage. In our next fight, we are running a naked Kale, but only have one Bremble vest to make sure that the abilities line up again. Even with this item setup, we can see that Tarek's shield didn't even break. Jin did not receive any damage credit at all for his ability. This this seems to be a pretty clear-cut case. All the damage will get reduced by Tarek his defensive stats, which means if you want to maximize his ability, then he should receive your tank items. Okay. For our next myth, let's return to a guru. There it is. So yeah, I have to move items to Tarek. Because Tarek resets mana better as well. So let's do it now. Uh, I'm down to 
I'm about to do this for now as well. Since we're here. We lost that last fight, by the way. Against Missed My Fish, which was the Bruiser Challenger player. Interesting, never seen that before. There you go. Nice. The more we know. I'm gonna roll out seven a little bit. Try to two star my board. Up. Maybe get a Lux if we're lucky to start this. I wonder if I keep Teemo instead of Sona? Probably not. Because I do need Demacia. Like, I have a phone call. So yeah, uh, someone forgot to unmute themselves while after taking the phone call, so... I'm going to be here uh, providing some commentary. So at this point, I hit 6 Zork. I'm level 6. I only need to go 8. Actually, I could go 7 in this case, of course, with Sorcerer Heart being that good, allowing you to hit the max cap earlier. I just needed to hit a Lux, move items from Teemo, and we're good to go. So the I'm in a pretty good spot, so I get to chill pretty well. You don't have to level up or roll down in any at any moment in the spot that I am in right now. I have 86 health. I'm healthy enough. Taking losses is not that big of a deal. It's not going to do anything to me. I can greet. I am playing Tom Kench after all, so... Greeting is fine. So, let's... Hmm. It's a lot more difficult to commentate when you're not playing and you're not focused. <laughs> but here we are. Darius gets the reset. Will he continuously reset? I think he does. So yeah, this is where I start losing a lot of my tempo and... Yeah, I basically have to greet until I hit Lux. I could look down. I do get Combat Caster, which is not perfect because I cast once and let it go. Sorcerers aren't invokers. I'm thinking about uh, the Orn Glove, but that's a bit too random. And it's, it's better on Bruisers with AD items. There's not a lot of great AP items in the Orn Forge uh, item list. So, I'm not really interested in it. I will reroll and grab all the... Oh, there I hit Lux. There you go. So I sell Teemo, put in Lux, decide what items I should go. Swords aren't great unless you get Shoujin, but the best case scenario, since the, the bows aren't great for Sorcerers, is probably go Giant Slayer. So I end up slamming Jeweled Gauntlet. It's a great item. The math on it, I, I asked more thought once in his stream. What's the math on Jeweled Gauntlet is? When is it better than Rabadon's? And it's better when you already have a decent amount of a decent amount of AP. With that, you can basically uh, get more value out of it. Because Adding more AP is just additive. Well, the crit damage, it's a multiplier. So it makes sense. You add a little bit of everything. It's the same thing with HP and MR and armor when it comes to building Warmogs, Gargoyle. Because you're not going to build triple Warmogs, usually. You rather, you know, multiply or... Well, I don't know if it's additive or multiplicative. I wouldn't talk out of my ass. But the idea is always to, you know, diversify a little bit. So you don't put everything in one in one place. There is diminishing returns. Let's see how this fight goes. Not a lot of AP at the start. Not AP, sorry. Mana. So it takes a while. 
thankfully the temple is not as hard right now so my my frontline can last long enough for me to get a couple of cast in let's see where i go here there is a tier but I also need a bow so i can use the swords mm. a belt could also be good for Tarek for the front line it does also have a sona let's see what i go for oh belt's taken and i go for the the bow so i can slam an item on lux here i am waiting for demacia so i can give lux the demacia item get that value going there we go slam giant slayer perfect for against frontline because that's my first target always mm, taking it slow no need to roll down or anything like that i'm still healthy you know something that uh one of my friends does when he's playing he panics a lot like he thinks about how oh i'm getting low and I should roll down. I think that usually is a trap. I mean, it's un it's understandable. Oh, I tried to slam shroud here, but I I think about it twice. Hmm, probably for the for the best. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's the egg sorg uh, spike. I I one shot the whole board with one's cast from everybody. That's what you're looking for. A little bit more AP, and that's more consistent. So the problem here right now is that I ha that my Tarek, he has the, the belt. I slammed it earlier just for a little bit of a spike, which can be a mistake here because I could have slammed uh, uh, Guardbreaker here and give a bit more crit percent to my Jewel Gauntlet to increase the damage. But mm, it is what it is. I do like being strong early, although greeting, it's not... I, I, I can greet some things. Gold, that is fine. You use your HP as a resource. You don't panic. Going back to that subject. And yeah, just wait for wait for you to be like two rounds, two lives, and you can roll down. If you're confident enough that you can roll down all your gold, you don't have much. At one HP, one round before, even better if you're at like Crux, because that gives you an extra turn to roll down. You could do that. Although, you can always greet it and get the Econ as well. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna see my items. I have armor, a glove. Glove could give me another item to get crit. Although, I'm not a fan of... Of... What is this called? Hand of Justice? Although, it gives mana to my Lux, which she needs. It's not amazing because there is more items that give more mana playing this game i realize how important mana is it puts it into perspective because starting with a lux that insta cast it's so much different than uh than a lux that has to auto five times which takes a, a, an average of six six five seconds it's not great i do get the the the, the tier here I could go ice cream or I could go what's this name called the protector's vow which gives 40 around 40 to 50 mana to my Jarvan for him to insta cast and it secures the cast as well nothing's worse than a Jarvan that dies before he can cast that's lit that basically makes him a one cost unit or a useless unit he sucks on damage but there you go so I slam the protector's vow what am I thinking here? Oh, I, I was thinking about this item. Uh, Ionic Spark for the MR Shred. But I have Shift. It's not that big of a deal. Although, you know, it's it's faster. In, 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 if I Instacast, I do want to have the MR ready and propped. Which, you know, Shift takes three autos. So, that takes a little bit. Good news is the, the Demacia uh radiant item usually is good if it gives you a a banana item here it gave me radiant archangel but i can work with that i'm thinking about my items here it was either 
the options weren't good. There was a Zeke with the sword on Tarek, which is not great. Now that he has a good amount of AD. No, no one uses AD on my team, so I'd rather not. So I just slammed the Jewel Gauntlet. Like I said, multiply your damage. And yeah, look at that damage. Around six to 800 damage with one cast of Sona. I'm close to... I'm most likely gonna hit all my three the uh, three star uh, three cost three stars because I have uh, that's not golden ticket silver ticket I guess it's called so I'm fine I am very confident that with this amount of HP with this amount of gold and with uh, that reroll augment I am good to go now should I go nine no. Well, why would I? The, what can I put in at 9? More frontline? No. This, there's no point. It's best to increase my spike with uh, a Sona 3, which wipes the board pretty hard with Sorcerer's Path. Probably the, be the best Sorcerer in this comp. Giving multicast, the Masia, and with the damage, an insane amount of damage. Look at this. It's a perfect angle for Sona. She slams, does 3,200 3, damage in one go. Imagine she was 3 star. How much that damage would change. Ooh, I lost this one. Not hitting my spikes yet. And this guy hit Seri 3. Seri 2. So, yeah, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. We should win this, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be a YouTube. A YouTuber would have been. Let's see what we get here. Ionia. Hmm. Speaking of Ionia, I do want to change Malhazar for uh, Ari, which would increase my damage quite, by quite a lot. I could go Giant Slayer, but I think the best thing here is Ice Cream. Ice Cream gives 45 mana, so like I said, it helps with that insta cast, gets things going. I probably give it to uh, Belkos. Because his, his damage is comparable to to Sona. Although, it, it needs a bit of an angle. Sona has a better way of angling. Belkos, he's a bit different. I'm not sure exactly how it works. If I think about it, it's probably hit the first target. And then it spreads to the where there are more enemies. Because it spreads in different a angles, depending. I'm not too scared here, even if I lost. If, the more gold I save, the more power I have. Oh, this guy puts his... His... Rek'Sai right next to my thing. And then he almost wraps through, but... I mean... He just gets insta-pop, because why would you put... Your main DPS in front of my... Three... Most DPS targets. Why would you do that? Radiant Blue, Unlux... Pretty insane. More AP. Also, look at look look at Lux's uh, laser power. She has 400 AP, and wow, 4,600 damage, or 400. I'm blind. So there you go. Maybe I hit Lux three. Like I said, I'm in a very decent position. Unless someone like hits a gi ginormous spike, or hit like a three star, I think I have this game in my bag. I changed, I scouted a little bit, and I saw that the carry was on the right. Let's see if I was right. I was. It is a better angle. Oh, I, w I did it exact uh, for the Yasuo specifically. I saw the Yasuo on the right. So I should be okay here. My front line's not living very much. Oh, Lux is very close. Uh, it's a Belbeth. I can't win against that. But it's a good loss. Only one unit. Don't take that much damage. Not worried at all. It ruins pretty low HP. It's a top 4 game already. Some have 30, 40 HP. <laughs> I'm 2 away from Belkos and 2 away from Sona. I think I'll be alright. Now, sometimes when you get Morello, it feels pretty bad. Like right now, I see Morello and I'm like, where's my ult multicast? No, not my multicast, my, my mana for quick casting. 
Oh, here's a, a fact that you should know. Uh, the Masia items never give you the same item. So if you already have a blue buff, it won't give you like a radiant blue buff. So, you know, slamming items that aren't the mana ones could help. But most of the time you want the mana item. I see that my Lux is going to get a, a Spear Shoujin. And I'm considering getting more tankiness. But Archangel helps me insta-cast. So I'm not going to slap the Ar Archangels yet. I could put Lux down, give it to her, and make the Radiant item for Jarvan. But I decide, you know what, let's use this Shoujin. It's a great item. Why not? Ooh, why, am I, why am I rolling down here? Why am I worried? Make, make Econ. Cool. I lost to this guy before. But I do have Lux 2 now. I believe I had Lux 1 last time. His front line is very tanky with that Sejuani. If I could get my laser on him. There it goes. Ah, very close. 1 HP. Nice. Oh. Another thing. Very good. Is a lot of your, your cast with Velkos and Sona, if you have Sorx bad, you can get through the back line pretty easily. Because your, your attacks pierce. Ooh, I want this Taric. But I want Jarvan too. I roll over it. I'm like, oh, I hit Sona. I gotta sell Jarvan. There's no way. And of course, I want to keep the lu the Lux Dream alive. I hit another Jarvan, sadly. Oh, there's an Ari. Change for Smalls. I get another Archangel and I'm like, oh, come on. So I decide against it. I slam the item, give the thing to Jarvan. It's not a great item. Especially since I'm not... Uh, well, I'm against a little bit of AP. But it doesn't get as much value because I don't have Jarvan too. But it's fine. Let's see how I do this fight with Ari. I get some Mana Reef. Ari dies instantly, sadly. But her damage does the difference. Nice. So I beat one of the guys I was losing to. I just need to beat the, the Ari. Hmm. Oh, another Tarek. I could roll down here and I should. I mean, what am I going to save this gold for next game? There's a Jarvan, there's another Lux. Keep rolling. Should have honestly kept... Well, I couldn't keep uh, Swain. I wouldn't have enough space. So, I get the Jarvan. I think it changed the item, I'm not sure. But I get... Uh, I get Sunfire here. Radiant Sunfire. And I put it next to the, the normal Sunfire. Now, in a perfect world... The Radiant Sunfire will always go through, but let me take a good closer look and see which one. 19 damage, 15 damage, 15. Okay, so yeah, it, it's bad to have both because it looks like the 15 damage on Aurelia kept going, and that was from the normal uh, Sunfire. So that's not great. Let's see what I get here. I do have a sword, so Shojin is good. Since I'm gonna have Belkaz with uh, three star, might as well slam Sh Shojin on him, help him cast even a little bit more. Maybe I give it to Ari, but she's too low. She might die instantly. So Charbon, there's a Lux, there's Belkaz three. So I slam the item, of course. Right? Yeah, of course. So now it's an into cast. As you can see, most of my units. They all have, like, they're like one or two autos, maybe three away from casting. I move here because I think I saw them move. Yeah. So I hit this area from here. Three star Sona, three star Belkos. Let's see if I can melt the back line in one cast. Oh, almost. Just one away. Oh, there it goes. Yep. And that was the instant cast. GG. Sorcerer is pretty good. Should give it a try. If you're in the spot for it. 8 Sork, I think it's usually an instant win. But always think about your front line as well. You just need enough time. Yeah. At some point I saw that Swain had a thousand HP that she gets from the cast. So that's pretty good. And Taric Shield gets like 1,500. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Keep learning. <laughs>